gentlemen, happy Sunday. How are you all doing? It's me, Dali Leonga, Screen Goddess. You're welcome to our very first edition of The Review. Now, honey, it's gonna be our Sunday show. I mean, uh, while you all are at home, relaxing, and you're probably wondering, what can I watch today? TV can be very boring on Sundays, right? They might not have the right program. So hey, as from today, henceforth, honey, The Review is gonna be your favorite program. Now, it's our Sunday show, which runs from 3 to 4 p.m. And of course, it's it has two hosts, myself, Dali Lyonga and Limunga Marinage. Now today, honey, we have been joined by another person. He is a veteran, he is a living legend. I'm talking about Mr. Alene Menget, AKA me. Now he is um, an actor, he's an on-air personality. He's equally a cook, he's a producer. He's just a handful, honestly. And I cannot wait for him to give us his his opinion on some of the things that are happening in the summer industry. And it's, I know this is the very first um, edition and you might not know what the show is all about or you don't know so I'm gonna tell you on the review honey we're gonna be looking at things that are making way for the summer industry we're gonna be giving our take we are going to analyze critically you know just to improve the summer industry yeah so if we tend to hurt your feelings in any way well honey do not catch feelings that's what I'm gonna tell you now to kick start to this program honey we're gonna serve this beautiful song it's titled Pingis and it's coming from our own living legend Andre Marie Tala. I love the song, I love the beat, I love the dance move. It's amazing. Take a look, you'll like it. Ben Sekina. Chum. Ninida and that. Ninida and that. Ninida and that. Ninida and that. Ben up. Ben up. Ben up. Ben up. Ninida.
I hope you enjoyed that ride. I know I'm not a good dancer, but then, hey girl, the aim was to just put a smile on your face and to tell you that the, the fact that we're in front of the screen doesn't mean we're perfect and we know it all, okay? So dancing is not one of my strong points. Anyways, as Ellie and Nam, so I'm not in London studio, I'm gonna first of all introduce my co-host, Limunga Marinash, and after which, I introduce our today's guest. So let's hear from, Ma from I wanna say Mary, yeah, Mary, Marinash, Mary. Hello, Mary, how are you today? Hello, Daniel Yoga. Hello, guys. You're welcome to another episode of the review and guys this particular episode is this is our first edition of this particular episode and guys you all are going to have fun we are really going to keep you all really entertained and by so doing we decided to segment the review into different slots and we are going to start with a uh, vox pop secondly we're going to enter into our main topic which is the review itself later on we're going to go to kongosa and then guys we're going to play we're going to have some fun and we're going to play some games so if you really want to be entertained in fact no in fact Leonga, if they really want to be entertained then they're not gonna go anywhere right of course that's what they want to show <laughs> that is why they will make sure that we look amazingly beautiful i want to give a shout out to my designer Marita where she's based in the southwest region of Cameroon. I actually love this guy. I wish I could start so you all say like bro we don't wear cheap stuff, cheap stuff over here. You know what I'm saying? Like this has to cost me a couple of purple money. Yes. Yeah, some 10 cent bacalas and all. So girl <laughs> I'm very loud. Yeah, I don't want to talk about my week. I know Nia is just looking at me like what, what are they talking about? What they you know what? <laughs> Let, let's get to Nia. Let's get to this guy because I bet you his own outfit could cost like 300 grand or plus. All plus. Let's hear from him. Hello Nia. How are you? Hey how are you? I'm fine. Uh, you're reviewing your dress. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm reviewing my dress. What do you think? Do you like it? It's nice, yeah. I, it's uh, beautiful, but yeah? I, I didn't see that on the menu of the program, but it's a beautiful review, though. You don't play with me. It works. No play with me, Nii. Nii is always very petty. I'm going to tell you that. And it's a way he uses sarcasm. So if you're not extremely intelligent, you'll not understand. Like, he has these dark jokes you get. So Nii, don't play with me. I love what you're wearing. It's so beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, so you want to tell us who made it for you, the designer? Um, I will get there. Um, Juliet. Okay. Juliet in Boya. I don't know her artistic name but Juliet she's she, she so she she does it so well mm -hmm. she's huge okay dresses the biggest diverse in the country amazing mm -hmm. before the end of the program I'll definitely have a name Juliet Juliet she, she, she's she's quite huge mm -hmm. quite yeah. huge huh? now I didn't want to go I don't want to talk about the cost anymore if you were to ask me how much is the outfit he's wearing to be I honest because when we look at that particular outfit just the material of the outfit guys mm. Mm. It's, it's getting scary. Uh, it's scary, you baby, because you see where, where I am, where I'm coming from. Uh -huh. You see the marking of this dress, uh -huh. just this part. Me, you want to go there? Yeah, sure. I know exactly when somebody talks a lot about her thing. It's uh -huh. when, 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 when you, you're scared something to get wrong, especially me. So, Nii, let's talk, let's talk prices. Mm -hmm. um, how much are you worried? Well, mine is a gift. Oh. I, I don't remember what I, I did modeling for her for about 10 dresses and she gave me two. No. Then I bought wow. four. Amazing. I, so I don't know if I bought this one yet, but I forgot. I mean, I didn't buy it for the original price because mm -hmm. I had to buy some of the dresses that I modeled for her. She's huge. She, she does the biggest for Divas. I'll get her name. I just know her as Juliet, mm -hmm. but she, I'm sure you guys know her. Yeah. Because she, she definitely has a, a name that oh, is not Juliet. Oh, okay, I know Julia Spears. Okay, yeah, that's her, Julia Spears. Yeah. Julia Spears, mm -hmm. amazing. I know her. Now, if, the, if it's coming from her, then I will tell you that this right here, it costs a fortune. Exactly. She's one of the most expensive fashion designers in Cameroon. I can tell you that for a fact. She's extremely priceless. So I can tell that your outfit is worth every penny. It's so beautiful, by the way. 
Thank you. Yes. So today we're going to start with Vox Pop, as um, Lumunga earlier mentioned. On the review, honey, we're going to have Vox Pop. There's going to be the review itself. We will actually take a look at the things that are making way for give our own analysis. And I told you all that, hey, we are not experts, you guys. So we'll make sure that we bring an expert that's going to give us his own point of view. And today, Ni is going to be the expert, yes? And aside from the review itself, there's going to be Congo Sawa. We'll look at those gossip, those things that are happening on social media, those things that are birds and all and then we're gonna have some fun games so it's gonna be entertainment a roller coaster ride of entertainment back to back now today's box for penny will prepare this question for you now we have everybody has had issues as far as id cards are concerned now let's ask our guest me have you ever had id cards problem exactly. yeah i still have it now oh, oh. <laughs> okay no, I, I actually have uh, my ticket for the past one and a half years it's still in my wallet the original card has not come but i read recently that that's there's some news that um, things are getting easy, that within 48 hours you could get uh, mm. uh, an ID card. Is it true? Oh, I don't know. I heard it from Dr. Menjo's speech, but Dr. Menjo usually is also silly car. Darling, yeah. he yeah. was joking, I tell okay. you. I'm sure that's like as a right there. Yeah. Like, bro, mm -hmm. yeah, let me tell us about you. Guys, as far as I'm concerned, ID card issue, in fact, my ID card issue has always been a very hectic particular stuff because since I was born, I've done ID card about two times and I've never had an ID card. The first time I did an ID card, it wasn't out and that prompted me to do the second ID card. But then, till now, I still don't have any ID card. Did you, did no you, find, out, did you find out why yours didn't come out? That's yeah, I thing. went to the police station and they themselves, I don't know, they, they told me um, it had some complications. Yeah, and because usually the like, when they go realize that yeah. you have... Uh, a fake birth certificate or they realize that your mm -hmm. dates are not rhyming, it never comes out. Mm. It never comes out. Yeah. Okay, especially and those who are have, trying to reduce yeah, their ages. Once, yeah. you, once you have a problem, there's an agency in Yaoundé, I went there and fixed mine, so maybe you go there, but that was then. The problem now is worse, but I was asking a friend of mine because I did my mother's passport in Douala yesterday for 24 hours. Within 24 hours, I had a passport. Whoa. Yes, you do it online. You fill it online. You pick it the next day. Wow. Yeah, did, you, it, but, did it cost you more, though? No, no, come on. It's the, the normal price. It wasn't, I didn't, I mean, it's online. So mm. I was asking myself how easy it is, it is to make a passport and how difficult to make an ID card. And it doesn't I said 24 even hours. 24 hours. Yes, after we registered online, they gave an appointment, like you're going to an embassy. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place, classy, you feel you're in some foreign country. And immediately afterwards, next day, a message came, but come pick it up. But I don't know why it's so difficult when it gets to the ID. Mm. Okay, you all, so uh, let's hear from others. I bet you we are not the only pro people with ID card problems, okay? So we went on the streets, and this is what we're able to gather for you. Take a look. I'll be very sorry, Sedu country, be very so poor. When you reach your police station for make ID, the woman that just treat you very badly, they go make you sit down the whole day, you lost your own job site. Just because you come only for simple ID card. Only for simple ID card. So I'll be very sorry for this country. So I plead the government for trying to arrange this problem for ID card. No simple ID card go make me I go lost two days from my, from my job site. You could go to my just to say, then that's why I see. Come and sit here. I just came to make an ID card, I don't come to come and query. I don't come to come and fight. I come to come make ID. But now I don't be not the one with a query. The woman the police, now you walk where you come for can walk. But they said they be beating our country to make into that work. So I've been very so I plead the government. Me they arrange this thing for the country very fast before it won't be late. Some offices in Cameroon have been treating people badly. To receive them actually. When I say badly, I mean uh, maybe bribery or giving some money before they receive them. But actually for me, I've never been on any office in Cameroon and I've treated me badly. Yeah, so that's it. I've never been, so I don't know why. I don't know, but I've, I've been treating people badly. But I've never treated me badly anywhere. When you come uh, to office, like public office, you need service. Well, they know the welcome you were. Because sometimes you don't have money or because you not dress well, something like that. But if you come, say, they tell the, that this person will send you some personality, they will receive you and they will treat you well. So that you need to correct your way to receive people any place, any office, any uh, public office. 
But for me, the service in Cameroon, I have experienced many things that are not going the right. Because when you go to the public service for a service, you're supposed to be free. Sometimes there seems to be uh, holding for you to propose maybe maybe uh, something to do with people. So for me, um, I think uh, things have been it's coming, it's coming worse, worse because uh, what we did yesterday is not what we are, we are doing today. For me, for example, I make when I went to make my ID card, I experienced the first day they did not receive me because they say I came late. I don't know when you come at six o'clock. They say I'm late. Oh, the public service sometimes uh, open at uh, eight, eight thirty. So that day I went back. The next day I was supposed to be there before four o'clock. So I arrived four o'clock. It's where they came around six thirty. They took my document, and I wait for three to four years. Okay, so apparently, I think the government has to look into it, you know, if they can find um, solutions for our problems. It doesn't make sense when the inhabitants, I mean, the cities of a particular country are facing a lot of difficulties as far as making of ID cards. Like, bro, that is our right, you understand? That's not fundamental right now. If they can look into it, it's going to be a lot more easier. What do you yeah, think, Lee? country and you don't have a national identity card it's that is very very bizarre we can even call that <laughs> and, and, and the crazy thing is that when you when you get when you come across the police checkpoint I mean when you tell them like and they ask you like present day one or yeah and then you bring there your recipe say you they know the same rude. people are very rude right they, they're, they're gonna stress you a especially whole lot. if the expiry date has already arrived like they mm -hmm. are really rude I traveled one time, that was, I was leaving Boya, going to Yaoundé, and then I didn't have my ID card, plus the ID card was already like a booklet that I had already extended. Yeah, I've never had one Extended. Nia, so. <laughs> 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 can you say that? <laughs> Did I say that? You just said that. <laughs> <laughs> they had already extended, extended the ID, the, 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 the recipe to the mm -hmm. extra it was already like a booklet. Mm -hmm. And so traveling, and then you're arriving there, plus they, they themselves, uh, my, it was already expired. My, my ID card was already expired. So I arrived at the police checkpoint, and those guys were like, those guys were like, the policemen, they were like, presentable. I want to give them the ID card. When they first of all see it, they see it's like a booklet. And mm -hmm. then they say, man, don't they pick up with the new navigation <laughs> <laughs> They can't do the don't you think? And guys, I was really, like, really kind of ashamed of myself. Okay. It's not my fault, but then yeah. it's really humiliating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you traveling and you don't have a national identity card. It's really, really, really traumatizing. I can imagine. Yeah, I think uh, they're definitely looking for a possibility to fix it. Our country gets to a level where when things get too bad to fix it. I remember about three years ago, I was I was I wanted to do something in London, and I went to I realized my passport was expired, mm -hmm. and they, they 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 took one year to review my passport. Yeah, that's how bad it was. So Whoa. right now, today, getting a passport is less is less than forty eight hours. Mm -hmm. So I think after I went to the walls, they changed it. And let me tell you, the best services I've had recently is in the passport office. So I think uh, with the ID card, the problem still lies in centralization bottlenecks. You need to do the cut in Douala, then they carry it to a computer in Yaoundé somewhere, it gets missing, and there are lots of bottlenecks with it, and I'm so sure mm. lots of signatures who are not who are not always present. Mm. But um, if the passport today, you do it in Douala, it comes out in Douala tomorrow, it means that there's a possibility of doing an ID card and collect it in the various regions. That's true. When yes. we're talking about uh, regionalization and trying to get the country not dependent a lot on Yaoundé, these are the things we think should happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Let it be like before. Yes, it's complicated, but we know the network. If you are registering an ID card in Douala, it automatically appears on the computer in Yaoundé. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if it's a problem of making it unique that if you present it and uh, you, you, you need to, 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 to uh, uh, there's a machine to show that you're Cameroonian, you can... We open in any computer if you have codes. So mm -hmm. I just think they should decentralize the, the fixing of ID cards, like they have decentralized the fixing of passports. Mm -hmm. Okay, now Nim mentioned the word review. So honey, let's dive to the second part of the show, which is the mm -hmm. most important. Now honey, today we're gonna to be reviewing two things. We're gonna start with some feds, the Cameroon International Music Festival. The season two, right, or the second edition is finally here. And I'm so glad that I was nominated under the category of best entertainment host or talk show host. 
clothes. Now, uh, I think there, there should be like 22 categories as well. Now, there's been a whole lot of ch -ch 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 -ch. some people feel like, nah, like, bro, what's going on? Some people did not, do not deserve to be nominated. And others feel like some people's nomination, it comes as a total disrespect to their person and to the, the, the work they have put in, you understand? So, of course, myself and Lumunga, we cannot do that, you understand? Exactly. Like, we are not supposed to give our opinion on all. That is why we decided to bring an expert, Alena Menge, to give us a stake. Now, aside from CFS, we're equally going to be um, reviewing Stanley Ernest's yeah, song, okay. Take Over, right? So now, let's start with CFS. Me, how much of CFS do you know? Um, after you told me I was going to start this program with you, I have been trying to find out a lot about it, and I think I know quite some few things, beautiful things about it. And okay. also, I have discovered a lot of artists that I didn't know after you, you you sent me the categories. A lot of people were in the industry. I had to get to their pages and check. And uh, I like to say here right on TV that um, it's my opinion. It may not matter. What I see here, it could come out of experience, mm -hmm. but it shouldn't discourage anybody. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. I'm just a single person talking something. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really change some few things, yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with best gospel artists. And the very first is Indira Baboke. And then you equally have uh, Maureen Foba, this Elizabeth Feke, and, um, uh, ooh, okay. So there's Lucky Z. There's, I would be, I wish they could, you know, I wish they could maximize it so for us to see I better. But then, um, so that, that's what I can see from here. So what do you have to say to that, Ning? What's your take? Uh, let me first of all talk about uh, 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 praising the people who have come up with the idea to do such an awards because it's first of all very bogus and difficult to want to bring Cameroonians together to do anything in arts. Mm -hmm. So um, rushing through a committee's mind as a singular person may not be the direct um, uh, good thing to do at now. Um, there should be a committee that has sat down and collected some of those names, mm -hmm. which of course that committee has the right to collect what they want to collect because first of all, confess. Oh, is it confessed? Simfest. 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 Simfest is not an award that is organized like a national award. It's a national award, but it's not organized by government. Mm. These are individuals, mm -hmm. and they have their preferential, they have their preferences mm -hmm. of what they want. Mm -hmm. So getting deep to find out why they took who, I wouldn't know. But finding out why they would take somebody that I realized that these two people are not supposed to be at the same place, I may have a problem. For that particular category, I don't have a problem. All of them sing gospel music. Now, when you see Elizabeth Teke, this, this is our mother, literally. Yeah. The Banga Bush queen and all. Now, she has been singing for ages. When you put her in the same category as newbies like Indira Babuke, like Maureen Foba, how mm -hmm. do you feel about yes, that? Yes, exactly beautiful. I feel good. You know why? Why? Because a newborn baby could beat her in this show business. A newborn baby singer at three could become a star of a night and beat the old Louise Armstrong. Okay. Yes. Now, assuming that they say they look at the category of best actor in a movie, yeah. and they put Alena Menges, they put um, uh, Faith Fidel, how yeah. are you going to feel? It works. That is why Macaulay Culkin was a star when he was young, and right now he's not a star. It works. It's time. Fame comes with time. The particular look and that aspect works. Now, each time they're talking about an award, it should have a duration of time. Mm -hmm. Is it for this year? You wouldn't want to give somebody on a word for 2002, 2003, with work that she did in 2016. So now if it's for 2002 and 2003, mm -hmm. you have to go to that particular work of art that okay. they have done. The particular music they have done is not about their name. Now, if they are talking about Nigeria, it means she played this year. Yeah. If they are talking about um, Take, it it's means she played okay. this year. So they're actually taking these two particular songs of their career to bring it. Okay. Or a competition okay, fine. this year. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it has not to do with all the shit you have been a popular nothing to figure. do with what you've been in the, in the past. Oh, okay. okay. Now, okay. you have honorary awards. I went through that list. That has something to do with in the past. Okay. When they want to give you an honorary awards, they now face the facts of all your career categories. Oh, sorry, sir. All the things you've done in your career, they give you an honorary awards. Mm -hmm. Honorary awards are usually not into competition. It is the group of people who sit to organize it and they say, okay, this person has been here for a long time. Let's honor this person. Okay. Now, these ones, they don't need to get to a competition and let people say you pass. Well, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Honorary awards receivers are always, recipients are always selected by the committee. Mm -hmm. But for this, it is a particular work of art and a particular duration of time joined together and 
they, they may have a criteria to now choose which one. So this is definitely for 2002, 2003. Sorry, 2022, 2023. 2023. Yeah. Very well. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the second category. Okay, now, best entertainment talk show host. Okay, so now, when you get like best entertainment uh, our, uh, uh, journalist awards, mm -hmm. this one now is not like the category of music that we had a song play. Exactly. This one now, you're putting people and their careers. Mm. So it works, except you want to put on with time. Because if you're putting on with time, Nabil Fungod has to leave that list. Because Nabil Fungod has built a reputation in this business for a long time. If you ask me, he will go to honorary. If you also ask me, he would have won three, four, five years ago continuously. But this particular year, Nabil has not been too much on the talk show. He's been doing other things more of mentoring. Mm. So bringing in here to me it's a little bit of, I don't call it disrespect, it could be ignorance. I don't call it disrespect, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. What Nabil has done in the media, this is not the time that he should be nominated. There was a time that he was climbing because just consider that you win Nabil in this category, which you might do. Yeah. He's not going to take it lightly Even because me? Nabil has not been in the competition this year. Mm -hmm. Nabil has not created a program this year. Nabil has not done what he used to do. Mm -hmm. He's on the peak. So if you really want to award Nabil, it's going to be on a, an ordinary award. Not bring him. I mean, when you get through that particular list, because I was interested when I saw you there, I was asking myself, I had to get into some programs and people I don't even know. I realized some of the people have just started programs within three, four months. So maybe, you know, when, when an awards uh, uh, idea comes, from the beginning they just pick up names, but I am so sure that within time they would adjust. Okay, so the third one is Best Movie Soundtrack. Okay, then we have a serious problem, again. Fourth Generation is a seven, a six years old movie. I'm there. Okay. We shot it seven years ago, four, six. Then you're making Planters Plantation, which is a last year's movie. So I do not know if this is an honorary award, a, oh, uh, a lifetime award, Nothing. or the best soundtrack of awards in movies in Cameroon forever. Vic. Okay. Doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. The duration of the competition is always, should always be in play if you need to reward or award people. Okay. So continue reading, the director, let's get to know. Because, but just if you have to put fourth generation and you bring planters plantation, mm -hmm. I see a problem. Then he has a problem. That's true. I see a problem. Oh. Okay. The time of fourth generation and it's a word mm -hmm. that's supposed to be sometime behind. Mm -hmm. If you're bringing it right now, then we should know the reason, the elasticity. Maybe the Cameroon film industry has not been able to produce films within the past seven years. Yeah, is that possible? Uh -huh. yeah, no, that's it's not why possible. They're something it's not like possible. That. What's your take on the, the camera movie industry this year? Oh, we come here before we get there. My take is, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote something about it recently. It's getting back down. It's getting back to the domes. I don't know what's going on, but I feel disappointed. It's getting back down, 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 down. Um, immediately after we had the shots and the first four movies got into Netflix, um, there's been a lot of local internal competition of who is who, and the work has not been done. Mm -hmm. I thought that the work would have been done after that. Yeah, but it came up with lots of fallacies. People were lying about the amount of money that came in and brought in dreams and lied people on things and show business. and. At the tail end, the cash wasn't flowing around and lots of folks that thought there was some money coming but mana falling from heaven mm -hmm. and they didn't face reality and the mana wasn't falling, falling from heaven. Yeah. And the second other problem they have had, that the thing is going down after the Netflix. Lots of investors wanted to invest as usual, they met the wrong people. Usually the wrong people are usually the first people to always bring in business people. Mm -hmm. And those people were promised uh, milk and honey, new investors in Europe and the rest wanted to do movies and they told them within 24 days you'll make 300 million and this lies. Then when they get, they, they, they finally get to, to the point they realize that okay this is a business we need to grow, we need to invest and grow and they got disappointed. So that's it, I just think that that's the problem. And today I'm hearing of something, I don't have facts, that the, the stakeholders are fighting who is who in front of Netflix. We always washing our 
<laughs> but they, uh, we've been there. seeing a lot of the winning awards. I mean, for the past, I think, three months, eh? there's been, oh, Plantis Plantation has won this award. Plantis Plantation has been nominated for this. Uh, Moses very latest movie, when Levis broke, we're yet to see, it's yet to be premiered, but they're already winning cut um, awards. awards. They were into, I think, Tanzania and all. What, what do you have to say to that? I've always told you this. Cameroon has untold stories. There's no way you put Cameroon, a Cameroonian movie in a competition that it will not win because our stories have not been told. And uh, we have a beautiful cinematography. We have a beautiful uh, set of technicians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a beautiful set of actors. What we do not have is breakthrough. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, if you have to put a Cameroonian movie at any competition in the world where there are no votes, Cameroon will win. That's if there are votes, we shall not win because Cameroonians will never even vote their ass. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? If yeah, you bring that's true. professionals and uh, put them in a studio to watch a Cameroon movie, mm -hmm. be careful. Our stories are unique. Our stories are not told. So yes, that is the reason why we win. But then we have not had a platform yet to show those movies. We've not had a platform yet to make money out of this business. We've not yet understood the business. Some few of us do understand, and these people who understand are making a lot of money then the majority do not yet understand they're still waiting for facebook i hear there's something that facebook pays people now and that camera is not part of it that way monetization views. i'm still finding out if that thing can give a hundred million then we'll start doing it let's take a look at best artists best male artists and there's talent i know who is at the top there is still the Panchak, there is Loco, Tenno, Kosi, Mixelio, and Sisu. Let me find out who did that. Um, are you the people who, who did that design or it's coming from the organization? It's coming from the organization. Okay, then there's a problem. When you put Tizi Panchak, you need to let us know the track and the reasons. You get, you get it? Okay. With. Best artist this week. This week. This week. So if you just say this, it's Vic again. I don't know where to start looking at the things like when you say the best artist of the year. What am I looking at? The dresses he was putting on? Well, what am I looking at? The eye glasses he made on? Where they are hoping we know the songs they have been putting out there. Why they are hoping we know? It's usually one song that will mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. make okay. an artist the best. That's true. Yes. So that's why they say best artist of the year, Michael Jackson with Trina. Oh, I see. So let's say Stanley Erno with Takeover. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. So that's that's all. So yeah. So when you want to talk about best artists of the year now, you start competing. Yeah, because even the person with a single song comes over with somebody with hundred with plenty of songs. Mm, that's true. Okay. Mm. Okay. So let's move to another category. Uh, we are looking at best rap artists. Tenno, Jovi, Mike Monster, and you are the expert. Yeah. There's a way that because of uh, some very untalented people and some crazy politics in music in Cameroon, Jovi is always disrespected that has finally made him what he is because I don't see any reason. Even Mike Monster will come onto this TV and tell you that he will not stand on, will stand up with Jovi there. Jovi has gone on TV on the stage a lot of times telling people not to nominate him in our work. Oh. Yeah. Most of the times because in the past you, they did it to humiliate him. A lot of people don't want it and if they don't want it, don't put them there. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If they don't want it, don't put them there. I know. So by this time, Jovi is being dragged. Dragged to people he creates, dragged to people who, who he has inspired. Mm -hmm. And the reason he didn't want to be dragged there is because it's simple. You can just go and put him there and you take one of his kids that he trained and put the him as winner. I know. Then it becomes devastating. Mm -hmm. And people start writing. The lay people will write and write. And I think Jovi has always said it. There are many artists in the world who are not interested in a work. They're interested in work. There are some artists who just want to make business. They want to make money. Most of work don't come with money. Is there a work that you have that you create to make money? And this gentleman created the Boko music. A lot of these rappers rap because of him. It's a bit of disrespect sometimes with all the international competitions mm -hmm. that he's been put on there and the front of those very young people who believe in him a lot and they come online every time to say we believe in him. It has happened to me a lot of times. So I just think that Jovi should be taken off there. Okay, so category best performing artist. Um, uh, uh, darling, where did they perform? <sighs> I've not heard any performances on stage this year. 
Well, we've been seeing pictures of them traveling out and... Pictures and videos, I hope they put them together. I hope they brought them together and then that way you could now build analysis of who is the best for performing art. As for me, if you want to tell, you want me to let you know the best performing artist in that team, forever is Stanley, he's the king of the stage. Yeah. That's a good performing artist. If you want to give him an honorary award, you give him an honorary award, but you cannot at some point come and just say best performing. I mean, I'm, I'm confused at this moment. Mm. I'm That's confused true. because I don't know. Because we've not had major shows, Lee, to be honest. I, I don't know where the where how that competition will go. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's based on when you watch the videos. Who has more, more energy, exactly. the other person? Oh, yeah, person. maybe. Then, yeah. then yeah. I hope the category of best video will not come up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lee, let, let's hope not. So the next one. Okay, so special recognition. This one, every all of them will have. This is the one I'm telling you about already at work. Okay. All of them there have already been honored and they will be giving awards. And mm. this is at some category that you put veterans. Okay. When you don't want to put them in a competition. Mm -hmm. Like veterans who have not played for some time or who are not into competition, you now honor them. That's why I was saying that. Despite the fact that they put Jovi into competition, whereas Jovi, his song is two weeks old, he's right here where he's supposed to be, an okay. honorary award. Okay. And if you think an honorary award and you do a good invitation to Jovi, he should come over. If you come on an honorary award, it comes with no competition. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So all in all, Nay, tell us, what is your take? Review the Simfez uh, category. This it's a beautiful time. idea. It's just a second edition, as you told me. And uh, to have a heart, to really want to bring artists together with us with different opinions is like uh, uh, that kind of passing through the hour of a needle here to work. So just the fact that people still think about artists and think that it could bring them together, we need to tolerate them. First of all, I started telling you, it's my impression, there is a team and they have a code of conduct and they've been working on that code of conduct. Mm -hmm. The day of Simfest or maybe on their website, they have told us how those things were done. And so coming openly and think I criticize them without knowing all that, no. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason I'm trying to say that I'm bringing my opinion. Yeah. If I had an opportunity to give an advice, mm -hmm. that's what I would have done. So, but then it's a beautiful thing to award our artists. Despite the fact that a lot of them are sleeping, those that have been working should be awarded. Yeah. You're very well. Now, what's your take on award shows in general in Cameroon? Um, they are nice. Canal Door has grown recently. Used to be something else for me. It's grown. Today, if you see, it's like Bogibet who is behind this one. It's a veteran in the business. So I am hoping to see a lot there. It's not just awarding that's the problem. It is the, 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 the recognition, the, the, the standard of these awards afterwards. Let me tell you, everybody's got, this, everybody has picked up an award somewhere. It's how you make your award useful. Mm. When you come back home, how, it's just like when they go for Olympics. You being the best runner does not mean you make money in Olympics. You use it in brand, selling brands. You, you, you make money after you've had the award. Mm -hmm. So now, um, awards are there, but once you bring the award, what do you do with them? Take pictures with them, use them. Do they encourage you to do more music? Do they encourage you? I mean, there's so many things you do. My problem always is how to make money after you receive something. Yeah, so they need to learn to do that. But then apart from that, um, I keep telling you again, International awards, when I see Cameroonians there and they have to vote, I just say goodbye. We will never vote our people. <laughs> we hate our people so badly, so local awards, vote. You don't vote, they'll still insult, you vote, they insult. So. Let me ask you, so to you, Aini, why do you think Cameroonians do not like supporting their own? Their own, exactly. Nah, this, this, I, I wonder if you, you don't know the answer and why you're asking to meet me as if everybody knows. It's a curse. It starts like Cameroon as a whole, then it gets worse with Anglophones. Francophones support themselves. The Bambilikis support themselves. We. It's a bad. I know the reason why Anglophones don't support themselves. You tell us. Know it. Yes, please. Tell okay. us. When you have a second position in, 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 in people, like uh, the Anglophones think that they are less. And so each time there is a minister, and we always think that the Secretary General should be an Anglophone. I mean, the, the second post should now come to the minority. Mm. Now, it's something from within the minority starts fighting itself to be the second. And so the minority, the second position, who, if you come as first Anglophone, which is the second position, you want to sabotage all other fang Anglophones because you want to be with the Francophone. Oh, I see. That's the point on top. Now, the point below is the Anglophones are very complicated people. 
You could bring people close to you who come to destroy. So each time they have a position, they are, they, they, they are scared of their brothers because mm. some will say, now nah, that man from Tarikon, this way will work at his shoes. So now they finally come to the office and start telling your past. Oh, I see. That is the reason why we hate, I, 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 I thought about it for years, we hate supporting each other because we fear sabotage from below and we are suffering from inferiority complex from Francophones above. It's a very dangerous thing. If, if we don't start learning that, you may never change. Mm -hmm. Cameroonians and Lofons believe a lot to be to stay under Francophones. Mm. Not some of us who feel that we could, could, could get. They believe a lot that, okay, it should be a Francophone, that should be a leader, and I should come second. That myth was broken in the film industry. Unfortunately, within the years, Anglophones used to beat the Francophones in movies. They knew nothing. But within the years, they are taking over. That's true. Yeah, they have finally come. They are taking over. They accepted it, and for the past four years, they are back. They are taking over. Because these are things of art. But this thing works in our communities, in the offices. Once you're an Anglophone, the next thing is, you always want to think that, okay, the boss is a Francophone, and I'm smashing all other Anglophones because they'll come here and tell them that I'm from Bafut, and Bafut, they eat pear. Me, <laughs> <laughs> you. Now, we, we, then, we, don't you think that this particular category for this year's Infest has uh, really been side taken? Because if you look at all of the nominations, you're going to see that most of the people who are nominated are Anglophones. And so the Francophones are kind of belittled in this particular nomination. No. Unlike last year's nomination, they took just about 20 people and then they focused more in music. But then this particular year, they've nominated about 38 different categories, including social media uh, influencers, including TV hosts as well, because this particular category was not in last year's uh, um, first category. So uh, including all of these different people and then looking at the people which, we've no which they've nominated, don't you find that that it's kind of fishy because more more of the people who are there are anglophones because you are saying right now here that uh, we anglophones don't think our our brothers like we do not support ourselves but then when we look at these nominations you find all the least like most of us are anglophones when it comes to the the, the, the names in the nominations so but you're contradicting yourself not me I'm talking about general things. You're talking about this. But yeah. let me tell you something about this. Oh, I know. When you have a home, you usually start from there. Now, amongst us, the competition is positive. Mm. Now, this is an Anglophone project. Mm -hmm. it's, it starts with Anglophones. You start building from below. True. We pray in four years. We do not finally bring a lot of Francophones and hand it over to them if it's successful. Mm. And we become what I was telling you, less. Oh, well, I understand. I'll now give you... The other side of the story, it has taken more than 10 years for Canal Law to start bringing in Anglophones. And they are going in this year, and I promise you, most of them will go on like underdogs. And those who are going in for Canal do, if they win, they will definitely come and minimize the Anglophone project. Mm -hmm. yeah, always tell right. you, I took the canal, they will forget that it's a whole different mentality thing that for 10 mm -hmm. to 11 years, we weren't part of it. Mm -hmm. We're just getting there now. And take it from me, they are going to fight from there. Some will come and tell you, I'm the first to ever win Canal. And, the <laughs> and they will finally be linked to the yeah. Anglophone project. Uh -huh. Now, let me also explain something to you. The Anglophone project, like any other thing, if something starts from Bafut, it expands to Mankon, it starts going to Bamenda. Mm -hmm. This is a small project that has started. It has to maximize the people that they are used to, which are the Anglophones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's be done in Boya. At some point, it will go. Francophones will be added. At some point, it will go international. Nigerians, Sierra Leoneans will be added. So I do not think that that changes my mentality about us always destroying ourselves. <laughs> or okay. my idea about us always destroying ourselves. You ask me and I've told you, and if you care, you go find out and come back here on our next program and tell me who has been a star consistently in the Anglophone society for more than a year without being destroyed. You have a point. Sense, yeah. Okay, so we're going to move to our second review. And the, the destruction <laughs> has never come from a Francophone. <laughs> it's always been from an insider, Inside, yeah. a brother in your business, uh -huh. a partner in your business, I know. a competitor in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Anglophones have never had time to come insult us. 
they have never it's the way they done. support their, their own event they support their own too much mm -hmm. I don't know why why we cannot do the same thing you know we look even their comedy their, their, their comedians the way the the network but at least we're going to give a shout out to our comedians no, our comedians are really yeah they're doing well like they work together Hanging Glove yeah. Hanging Glove is, is beautiful okay Nate, now let's talk music still in music yes I want us to review Stanley and our song Takeover I remember when this song came, came out, out. Mm -hmm. wow now do you still remember the choreography me what is this style of me no easy no easy lie lie when pop down broke they are bang on oh yeah oh I'll be coming to me now the takeover walk up for my people you are project even if you miss another last over jump from the plate like a grasshopper African gentleman had the takeover walk up for my people you are project even if you miss another last over Chest like my amigos, best in the game like the Beatles, spark in your face like my angel. Gala kuta brain out the video, wind my waist like Falipo, slam your brain like Pascal Siakam, smoke my enemies like Shisha, my ego big like a bank account. African gentlemen are the takeover, walk up for my people, yeah, I protect them. Even if it means they're not the last of them, jump from the plate like a grasshopper. African gentlemen are the takeover. Me, I must get money for my hustle. If I don't get enough, I go walk till I get me. I must get money for my hustle. If I don't get enough, I go walk till I get any. <laughs> So that me, what do you have to say? What do you think? This is uh, Stanley Edna's recent over. project. It's coming from his um, upcoming project, the African Gentleman album. It's here to be released over there. We know that this takeover is one of the tracks in this album. Now, after listening to it and after watching the video, what do you have to say? It's beautiful. It's so beautiful, but um, I don't know. I expect a lot more from Stanley. I expect so much from him because he carries the industry in his head. You know, when uh, the, third, the fourth year of Cameroonian music got on through, the other artists were, were working. We worked for long. Then we, the fourth year came, they worked for long. Then the angels decided to choose Stanley. They worked, everybody worked. The songs were good, but the angels touched him and they made him a star. Wow. Until today, I still see the end pair in him. Exactly. I don't see anything off that. All these other ones, I, I feel sometimes not happy because I expect so much from what he owes, because MP was a community work. The song is his own, but mm. it was the time for us to blow. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a beautiful song, and I like him straightforward. He says the messages on his phone, mm -hmm. the MP. Afterwards, when animosity started, he came and said he was finding his way. He was still looking for his way. He's been looking for his way, and right now he wants to take over. Means in his heart, he knows he owes us to take over. He knows he's not taking over from all what he has. I feel bad again because this is the, the, the icon that the rest of the world looks through to see Cameroon. Mm -hmm. This is the best stage performer we had. This is the highest person who knows how to go get connection. This is the most connected Cameroonian artist. He's almost everywhere. But if an international artist like Davido comes here, and tells us that the only Cameroonian artist I know is is this mm -hmm. and, I, I, and, and I go back and I start looking at Stanley's song. I just realize that okay, the world knows that this is all we know. I know, right? <laughs> we have the biggest performance in him. Let me tell you, this guy was born to be a performer. He has the direct look like MC Hammer. He was the biggest hit in the 90s. Look at Bobby Brown, his dress style. That is him. But now. You music producers, why don't you help him to give him the songs? Why don't you help him, let him blow so that the rest of the other artists can go? 
If he made a mistake that when he started growing, he didn't take a lot of people that have always spoken because the power this guy had, Bonaboy did not have it then. The power he had, the guy I've always told you about that he would have been... Um, Fish? No, 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 the guy in Nigeria who, who is almost... He, he, the guy, he's not talented. Who's that? But he's got the people. Portable. Don Jazzy. Don Jazzy. I always uh -huh. have said that. Okay. Stanley would have been the Don Jazzy in Cameroon. Sit there. I'm already known internationally. Then he takes every other one. I choose you. You'll be the star. I choose you. You'll be the star now. I choose you. You'll be the star now. I choose. But he came. He kept it. Something he would have opened up. And he would have just come now a bit. Boss forget. And he would have left it for singers to sing. He would have just come a bit and throw a bit and shift behind, and everybody will be honoring him. Then this other young people will sing. Then he comes, hits one, he goes. Oh, it's like what DJ Khalid does. That's it. Yeah. So th wow. that is. The, I had an opportunity to want to talk with him. Okay. Um, when he was still simple, he was, um, and I, I wanted to tell him the career of Milli Vanilli. He didn't tell me he knew the artist then. By then. Uh, his brother had come in because Stanley was good until the brother came as his manager. Be careful. He was open. He was listening. The brother came and said, then, the, that, that's not the point. The point is, Milli Vanilli are the best performers that used to happen in the, in the, in the, in the 90s. But they were not good singers. Mm -hmm. So even sometimes they had people that sang for them. And they will come perform until the day they were discovered. And I was, I was, that's the topic I wanted to get through with him. Some point, lead. And once you lead, bring in the tough talent and sit on it. So it's a beautiful music to me, one other Cameroonian music. I want a Stanley, I want another empire from him. And uh, if you take 25 years to create empire, I don't expect him to create another empire at 50. We want it now. Because the world already knows he is the one and only. He's already shown the world that he runs everything in Cameroon. And so he will have to represent art in Cameroon. When they say it's him, they know that the rest of the other 100 Cameroonians are like him. So he should dare never try to make errors. Because every error he does, he's the only one that is known out there. Very well. Now, still on Stanley, you know, um, Neon, let me ask you this. Um, recently, I think a month ago, he granted a lot of us interviews. I was opportunned. I think I was the very first to interview Stanley, you know, Hall of Fame Dali Leonga. And then we saw him on other mini platforms. No disrespect, but then I'm trying to look at the fact that it, it, before it was difficult. Stanley Erno was not granting interviews. I mean, he had picked his own very big media houses, you see. But now you see him granting almost everybody with even the smallest platform. Now, would you say that he's in a crisis right now? No. no. What is the name of this his song? Takeover. Takeover. Okay. He wants to come back. Okay. He wants to come back. Remember in your last program, I told you how to come back. There's a way you come back. I don't know if he's got the good strategies, but he, it's, he needs a comeback. If you ask me, he thinks that can never happen. I'll personally, you know, take a telephone and I'll call Cozy. I want to do a song with you. Cozy can make him come back. Cozy is the man of the time. I keep saying it, you need to, if you are a star in Cameroon, and you do not go and take one veteran's hand to bring it back, you're still not nobody to me. So let him get to a comeback. This thing that I like, uh, like what, what you're saying, um, I hate using, feel that things are not going well, because, uh, darling, and uh, my dear, but this is back with the team here. <laughs> I do not listen to music like you. Uh, yeah, I'm an okay. instrumentalist. Okay. I know when you use synthesizing voice. I know when, like this song, that voice, you can't be putting it to me. It's not original. It's been worked on machines. I know when you use the natural voice. I know when the, the beat, the, it is the I know when to congratulate the man who created the beat than the singer. I know when to congratulate the trumpetist. So most of the times when I sit behind, I do not analyze. I'm not excited about the dance and the stuff. I follow who did what in a song. Okay. And find out who writes, who played that. So if you listen to that particular song, the beats, wild, strong, who did it? Um, John Scott, something Scott. And so stuff. find out and start celebrating that person. Okay. That's what we don't do here. Okay, so the beats made the song. Fine, that's exactly what I'm saying. It also goes with me, I define my way, 
Have you ever mm -hmm. did even even his last song, this one that there's a white Para, man in the studio. Pari? Perfume. That song does not. That song in particular the has no meaning. Yeah. But I sing it every day. <laughs> body, body, body. Right. You see, it's working now. Who did that? Oh, who produced That's where you people always make an error. Oh, okay. That's true. Let's, let's That's true. We celebrate the artists. So yeah, let, let the giving oh, credit to, mm -hmm. to some of these things. Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, it doesn't mean that he doesn't play a good part because if he, he wasn't good enough. We wouldn't be given the part. Now, on our last review, neighbor, before, let me ask you, we've always had this problem of um, artists not being able to export their sound or to export their craft. Now, we look at the genres. We see what um, Nebo in Nigeria is doing, the Ama Piano, the Afio, say there's now Oja Piano, you know, Oja Ginger. They're like, they have owned it. And they're trying to, you see. It's an African idea. I know. It's been there in South Africa for a long time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the days of Channel O. Yeah. Nigerians have taken it over. Okay. So to us, Cameroon, right, when you look at the different genres we have, according to you, being a veteran and all, which of our genres do you think can be exported easily? Well, for now it's difficult. Difficult because there's a lot of diversity. With what Phil Beat is going there now, um, on the other side, you see uh, uh, Jovi, who had transformed a bit of uh, Bikutsi. Mm -hmm. You see Makusa has been... You see a lot of... There's a lot of transformation to find out which one will go there now. Okay. But like I told you the last time, this is the secret of music. The day Cameroonian artists will come and sit and select one particular rhythm and 10 important artists sing it, it will, it will go. Ama Piano is done by DJs. It's, a, it's the beat that sings. It's just one word. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody will just, you understand? It is being created. It's the beat. It's a particular thing there that sells that nobody has the copyright over that thing. But here in Cameroon, like I told you again on the last program, uh, you see, he Misiki, the Congolese, they have one particular point that every other musician comes and sings it. When they were falling after a Shoro Tabule, Franco, they brought in that style in Langa Langa. Where every song had to do hibisiki, hibisa, hibisa, hibisa. You see, so, Togoli, no matter what you sing, when they're down, they make that particular thing popular in the world. And the rest of the world sings it. Mm -hmm. Ivorians, when they wanted to come, they created a uh, coupe, decale. Everybody used coupe, decale. That was a selling point. So now, coming back to us, we need to select one of these songs and create a selling point. Once we create a selling point and intoxicate our society with a selling point, we intoxicate Africa with a selling point, it becomes a brand in itself. Selling point does not necessarily mean the voice. It could be a map piano, which is the beats. So we can only intoxicate and force a selling point on people if one person does not claim the rights of the selling point. Okay. Very well. Okay. So, so then in Cameroon, when you find when you see this particular group of um, youths playing Bole right now, how do you see Bole in the next five years or ten years to come in Cameroon? I really wish I knew Bole. Can you make me me here? <laughs> Bole, what is guy? Oh, chop, chop, oh, chop, chop, chop. Yes, it's yes. working. Yeah. That will work. Okay. Mm. If it doesn't make sense, if it works, mm -hmm. let every other person, including important artists, go and do it. Okay. It works. Very well. I've even seen competition on that thing on dance when they bring a Cameroonian dance there. They bring, yeah. It works, and that's how you sell it. If you ask me, I don't know, even if, even if it is a failure who created that thing, mm -hmm. let everybody go there and do something, it works. <laughs> you know what? We're not going to talk. I don't know who did it, so you don't, 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 don't even think I'm saying something wrong. Um, I, I don't know anything about that. About that. I'm just saying that, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you see, it just goes like Empire. That is not a natural creation, uh -huh. it's a gift from God. An error in the dream, mm. extreme hard work mm -hmm. that people want, then a change comes through you. Yeah. Then you have to be Jesus. Okay, very well. So, um, we're going to let's move to another segment. If we, if we have to stay here, yeah, bro, yeah, it's going to take us out, out, right? <laughs> like, okay, so the next part is Congo Sani. Yes. So, uh, let, let me allow Lumunga to introduce this part. <laughs> You're really going to be short right now because what we really have for you today as a that is really, like, really hot. Can you imagine that a lady in Nigeria pours water on her matrimonial bed because her husband refuses to buy her a week for 350 naira? Like, no, 350, are you serious? 350 naira. 300, 450, 450 Oh my god, <laughs> see, 450,000 naira. Yes. See, can you? 
Did she do what? She, she poured she, water on her normal back. Normal water. Back. Yeah, yeah, which one is normal water? Nobody's going to sleep. If the husband does, if not, the husband does not provide that, <laughs> no one will sleep. I don't sleep. understand why, why this is news or conversa. Uh, this is what we suffer in Cameroon okay, every day. You know what, Neil? Let's watch it. Yeah, let's watch you're making a TV straight. You people do this. <laughs> Neil, take a look at the video. Let everyone do it. Let everyone do it. let's watch the video. Yeah, let's watch the video. Me like to go you. Me like to say you. to you. video. She come. Wow, 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 wow. me like you. video. Is video? video. But we are video. Me like it. Kill my now. Ah, Imola. 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 I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. If your wife dares. <laughs> no, 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 my wife can't. Voila. Because you see what's happening there? Something that has boiled for a long time. Before that guy got married to that woman, that woman was like that. He ah. chose to marry her. Oh. No, the way the woman is acting there, the man is the had his camera in the hand and is videotaping. This woman has broken plates. They never videotape. This woman has done things. They just did this one. So I still go back to the man. You got married to the wrong woman without compatibility. You met this woman from the beginning and you started giving her merch for 450000 Today, after marriage, you don't want to give. I keep telling you, when it comes to marriage, I'm not married, but come for advice. <laughs> that woman had had merch and they got married for the wrong reasons because of merch. And if that man wants to be happy, let him be buying merch. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep buying merch. Yeah, because when you see that and the power the woman has over that bed, it means that man has been suffering. Exactly. It's just today that the man is videotaping. The way the woman is getting crazy and doing things, it means that that man, that woman has slapped that man even once or twice. So she's, she does that in front of her kids. Yes. So many she has been doing it. Yes, so it is. Either, there are two things. Either the woman got mad that day after marijuana, or oh, that's a character. <laughs> character. Yes, I'm the one there. Yeah, manga. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, now you mentioned that you have advice. You might not be married and all, but then you have advice for the married, married people. You want to share a couple, maybe two? I'm just giving one. I know you would have to come here. See, if you have any idea, you are toasting me, tell me. You always want to get into this marital thing. When we get there, you don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> me, your marriage sex bell of our interview. I don't want to tell you how many views, like a hundred thousand views on my page. I, I need that. Tell me. It was, it was like comedy. Again, it was again, like comedy. It's beautiful. Yeah. Marriage is a beautiful thing, but it's the fastest thing to kill a man. Yes, marriage is so beautiful, but it's the quickest poison if you marry the wrong woman. Oh. Especially for happy souls like us and for people who need our space. Mm. You get it. Mm -hmm. If you don't get married to married to a woman who understands you and you understand him, you rather don't marry him. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because why would I, in this life, take a video of my wife throwing water on my bed and showing out that you know that no matter what we do, that man will be the one to be humiliated. His friends will laugh at him. Mm. So, so the thing is, marriage is a lot against men. And the things we've seen, what women have done. Now, Neil, let's talk about the issue of human hair. I think a lot of women are so obsessed with it. You know, like people want to have their competition much. is too much. And to think that this this thing that we're wearing is actually very, very, I, I feel like removing it, I swear. Because. Leunga. Yes, please. And the sister. Leunga. Leunga. It is not only the hair. Everything that sells today is what the women want. Their nails. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. Their makeup, it wasn't like that. Their shoes, it wasn't like that. The, 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 the chain on the leg was not, were not existing. <laughs> you see, when you got here, you started this program by talking the price of your dress. <laughs> you see, it, 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 it's not, it's, it's not, it's not it. It's not it. it. It is an illusion that has played over men after time for allowing women to cover. I saw a little video recently, a comedy by a Nigerian 
was showing how time changes. 1950, a woman was serving a man with food. 1970, uh, uh, they, they now put it on the, 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 the woman was carrying the food and the man was eating. 1990, they got to the table, but the woman was still waiting for the man to eat. 2000, they started eating together. 2010, the woman started eating and the man was, and they went right to 2030, the man was breastfeeding the woman in bed. It is the takeover of so, women. Okay, it is the takeover. Yes. So women are taking over yes. then. And women have power. Okay. Women have power more than us. They cause the biggest wars in the world. They have caused the biggest problems in the world. If somebody wants to get, if, if, if I can only have a problem with a friend, if both of us one younger. And if we are two big presidents who want a particular girl, we will lead our countries to war. Women are too powerful to tolerate and they are taking over. You just have to pray to have a nice one. Because when they take over, they take over the house, they take over the kids, they take over. I'll give you another example of takeover. Yes, please. All the women who sponsor children 20 years ago in the United States with the children, the fathers are here turning to food. <laughs> And these are the men who pay school fees. These are people who suffer. <laughs> well, we never made a career. You actually yeah. saying me, I think you know about it. No, you say you carry it, you carry it. Nine it, is, it is not a nine more. Let me tell you. Yes. It's where you, this is where I'm taking care of my kids. This day. I'm trying to play that part of a woman because that's where the African man too failed. Okay. That emotional face-to-face, -face, carry, feed your child part. We don't do it and it affects these children at some point that they always, my mama, they feel that warmth. Whereas we spend the money. Mm. So I still advise our men, find time, take your children out, take them for ice cream, keep them close to you, sleep on the same bed with, I mean, with, with them when they are growing, mm -hmm. clean them, get that feeling, watch them, do the same thing that women are doing so that when they get old, they should take you to America. <laughs> hey, if not, you're gonna remember you, you continue with the fufu? You'll be doing the fufu at 70. <laughs> Oh my God, thank you so much, Lee. That was amazing. Oh God, amazing. Yeah. So we're going to move now to another part of the show, another segment. This is games. Now, you all, if there's one thing about me that you do not know, he's extremely learned. Do I need to tell you? I mean, when he talks, you, just the, the language, the accent, and okay. yeah. just, the English. <laughs> He's so it pierces poised. your heart. You, you get <laughs> so I know this. Is, face, <laughs> and that is this next segment. He's gonna nail it. Okay, so Ni, we've entered a translation segment. Yes. Uh -huh. Now uh, we have three sentences. We want to translate to English. From what language? From Pidgin English, English oh, to proper okay, English. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So the first one is chuku chuku don't chuk my food. Chuku chuku has chuk my food. Is that what you said? <laughs> chuku chuku don't chuk my food. Don't, don't chuk my, my food. food. Yes. Yes. Appears my feet with a sharp object or a sharp object has pierced my feet me yeah, i was very specific chuku chuku, chuku, chuku. no not yes. pierced i don't say no. need you i don't say uh -huh. sharp object don't chew my food yes. i said chuku chuku, chuku, chuku. okay no, okay, okay. okay. Yes, a, 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 a sharp object that has many heads ah, ah. no oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> a sharp object that has many many teeth has pierced yes. my head yeah give me, I answer. Give the answer. i've been hurt by tons Mm. Yeah, that that that, that, that works. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, you'll be hurt, but no, but I have a problem with the head. It didn't pierce. <laughs> chuk. I am in a chuk. The word hurts because with piercing. Piercing now has to be. No, I can also hurt you by by, by not giving you food. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. That's, that's true. true. The second one. Um, uh, water don't dirty for up. Leslie first. Let Leslie answer. Yes. No, no, you start. No, you start before you got me. Okay. Water is dirty upstream. Ha! ha. But that, 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 one, that, 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 that particular thing could also fall in for an idiom. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, saying that the head is bad. Uh, okay, the head is bad. Like they, like if you come to a crazy family, what I don't know up simply means the head is bad. Okay, the father is useless. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so it, that one, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an idiom. Okay, if you have a very serious problem and um, the solution is supposed to come from up, mm -hmm. and up is not with you, mm -hmm. but I don't know if you up. Okay. But they will want the translation. <laughs> no, but it's, it's still good, it's still good. Wait, okay, Le Leslie, you have escaped too. Let's try this third one. Leslie, are you ready? Yes. Uh, the Ogbono soup, the draw. It's, the soup is <laughs> but the ogonosu be slippery. Not slippery. Slippery goes with like 
Slimy? Slimy. Slimy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Slimy. Uh-huh. This, this of course is slimy. Okay. Do you, do, you know, do you know what these girls are trying to do, do to us? <laughs> huh? Let, let us put them to the task. Why would I chew weed for work? <laughs> Wait. Translate put it in English. Why would I chew weed for work? Because when I actually chew weed for work, why would I chew weed for work? Uh, why are you putting us a logger head? Mm -mm. Oh. Ah. In no Korean. English now. Why would I chew weed for work? That, that is not. Why are we a logger head? Who's a logger head? <laughs> wait, wait. Um, so don't, don't come and hit us here. Why would I chew weed for work here? Why, why, are you, why, why are you saturating us with too much paste here? No. <laughs> you want translations your way, we do the translation. It's not the correct. OK, yeah. let's you tell us, give us the correct answer. Let's. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, why on the chuck we for work? Mm -hmm. Why why give us so much work? Or should I just say no, what direct translation? The, the answer is why you two are difficulties. No? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Should I go? Wait, Emma? Uh, Emma? I'm not saying why you put why are you putting us in tight corner? No? No. no. Why, why did you wait for work? Why are you getting us confused? Ah, ah. Should I go? Yes, please. Please. Why are you piercing us in the job? <laughs> <laughs> that is not it. Yeah, yeah no, choke me for work. <laughs> piercing me, piercing. <laughs> choke me for work. Why are you piercing me in the job? <laughs> so you people should stop piercing us in the job. Piercing the job how? Piercing no how? Excuse me, what is choke? Yes. What is work? Why, why are you people piercing up in the us in the job? Okay, so well, we actually had um, a program like this yes. on radio. Okay, your mm -hmm. boss, the owner of this place, and I, when we were doing radio in Limbe, mm -hmm. and there was a particular one that nobody and we used to put into the radio and people call in. Okay, it was one that nobody ever had an answer forever. Please, 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 please yes, we are the leaders you of tomorrow. Try <laughs> us. We are the leaders of tomorrow. Try Don't us. take it, man. You should use it. I cook my rice in Kumawa one eye. Ah, uh, I prepare my rice, it came out in grain. Forget it, one more eye. I, I no concern. We, see, we argued this thing for long. If you have okay. time with your boss, sometimes talk about it. Wait, Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> help us. I, 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 I cook my, my rice, rice come out one more eye. Okay, just give me some. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. Okay, I, I, cook my, I, cook, I cook rice and it was not stick together. Wonderful. <laughs> Are you? No. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. The rice I cook was segregated. Why? Like at my side. <laughs> oh God. No, no. See, I love this program. Oh no. my God. This one. Yeah. If I can try. If I can. I raise my case. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You raise your case in the rice. <laughs> Okay, me give us, you try. Today we don't know the answer. You don't know? Yes. Oh my goodness. Today we don't know the answer. Nimuka, you wanna try? No, I think I rest my case. You rest your case? Say it was for months, eh? Whoa. Months on radio. Okay. Anyway, if you realize, if you, there was one reason or the other that we didn't accept. Okay. Yeah, but then it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's of course. difficult translating the English. I mean, it doesn't make you wise to translate English directly to fake because mm -hmm. English has different connotations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different. Exactly. We can speak about that and do why pigeon words are that, which are um, what, what, we, what we call. Um, there are mistranslations from mm -hmm. the way the white man spoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the pigeon words. That's why Duala women speak a lot of pigeon. Yeah. Because they heard it. This were what they thought were the things that we're saying. One day we should discuss about that. Most of the words we have in pigeon yeah. are the mistakes of the ear of the black man, the white man's tongue. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're running out of time. We have two more games before mm -hmm. we go. Uh, you have to say this very fast. My, my shoe, shoe shall soon shine. shine. Six times. That my very shoes fast. shall soon Soon shine. shine. Yes. But Leonga, we tried this last time I failed. Try. No, this one is maybe you, you, you. My shoes shall still shine. Ah. My shoes stop. <laughs> no. My shoes shall still shine. My shoes shall still shine. That's not hard. My shoes shall soon, shall soon shine. Uh. My shoes shall soon shine. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's edition with uh, today's edition of the review with Dali Lyonga and Lumunga Marinage. And today's guest was Alena Menget, aka Ni, and we won. I'm so happy. So after this, we'll be going to Nis Kitchen for oh my god, oh my god, <sighs> to quench. It's a plot. It's a plot. <laughs> I'm not scared of this plot. <laughs> Me, do you have any last words before we go? Any last words? Well, I, I'm happy. I'm happy with the. I mean, the, uh, I'm happy to know Limunga today. And um, on a more serious note, I'm happy on your strength of growth. Thank you. Um, the, you, you are your period. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, excuse me. I, I didn't mean that kind of period. I mean. I mean, you, you, this, is, you, this is your epoch, this is your era, this is your time to shine. Yeah. And I'm happy the way you're putting uh, a lot of energy in this period that you are on. So, um, consistency works and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Even yeah. your, co your, 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 your enterprise or company knows you're doing well and they gave you a position that I recently, uh, that you're director now. So, all this, I'd, like I told you from the beginning when you started, consistency. Keep going, keep going, keep going and uh, make sure you're doing what is right. And one other thing, always come early. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. Lumungari, last words before we go? Oh, guys, this was the real, the review. Guys, I was already going to the real. I know, right? <laughs> this was the review. And guys, you're always going to stay tuned for this particular edition because we are going to always keep you entertained. So go nowhere every Sunday, 3 to 4. Stay tuned on Dark Sports and Entertainment. More Alexi. Wow. <laughs> yeah. More lesson. More lesson, When you're your period, make sure you get to the peak. <laughs> okay, you also. More lesson from me. <laughs> and all right, you also. That was it on today's edition of the review. I hope you're highly entertained. That was the aim of this show. And do not forget to make it a rendezvous every Sunday, 3 to 4 o'clock on Dash Sports and Entertainment TV. Now, we're going to see you next week, Sunday. Do have a lovely weekend. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> we won you. We won you. We won you.